This is Lesson 5, Ready Classroom Mathematics, Session 4, Subtracting Whole Numbers. Students, in your math book, you should complete pages 87, 88, 89, and 90 before you watch this video. So you should be writing in your math book, solving pages 87 through 90, so if you need to pause this, go ahead and pause this, and after you complete those pages, then come back and watch this video to check and see how you did. All right, here are the answers for pages 87 through 90. I'm gonna go through these a little bit quicker because we should just be checking our work. Number one, what is the difference of 484,392 and 53,674, okay? So, and it says show your work. So I'm gonna line, write these numbers out. Notice again how I'm spacing them a little bit further apart. And then, I'm writing the bottom number, okay? And then I'm subtracting. Two minus four, I cannot do that. So this nine becomes an eight, and two becomes a 12. 12 minus 4 is 8, 8 minus 7 is 1, 3 minus 6, we cannot do that, so we're borrowing or regrouping over here, 3 becomes 13, 13 minus 6 is 7, 3 minus 3 is 0, 8 minus 5 is 3, and 4 minus an invisible zero is four. Don't forget your comma. So your answer is 430,718. Page 88. Okay, let me get this where we can see it good. All right. Find the difference of 840,000 minus 671,600. Show your work, okay? So I'm gonna write those numbers again, spacing them out a little bit, so that way I can keep my columns for my place value lined up. Okay, and our ones column, zero, subtract zero is zero. And our tens column, zero, subtract zero is zero. And our hundreds column, zero, subtract six. I can't do that. So I'm gonna go over here, but I can't borrow from zero. So I go to the 10 thousandths place, and that four becomes a three, zero becomes a 10, but that 10 is not gonna help me over here in the hundreds column. So again, I have to regroup, and this becomes a nine, then this zero becomes a 10. So 10, minus six is four. Then in the thousands column, nine minus one is eight. And the ten thousands, eight, three, I'm sorry, minus seven, I can't do that. So I regroup right here, my seven. Three becomes 13. So 13 minus seven is six. And then seven minus six is one. So our answer is 168,400. Moving up here. Antonio tracks the number of steps he takes each day. He takes 158,516 steps in the month of July. He takes 136,720 steps in the month of August. How many more steps does he take in July than in August? So I'm looking at these two numbers and I've got to decide which one is bigger. So I'm comparing my numbers. They both have a one in the hundreds. This one has a three and that one has a five. So that means this is my bigger number. So that is the number I'm going to put on top. So 158,516 minus 136,720. Okay, six minus zero is six, 
1 minus 2. I cannot do that, so this 5 becomes a 4, and 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 2 is 9. 4 minus 7, I can't do that, so 8 becomes a 7, and 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. 5 minus 3 is 2, and 1 minus 1 is 0 but we don't technically have to put it, so it's kind of like an invisible zero. So 21,796. So over here, we've got to find 21,796, and it's B. And technically, this should have a label of steps on it. Jamie chose D as the correct answer. How did she get that answer? Well. Let's look here. D is 22,796. So this part is right. So it must mean if this is the number, she must have made a mistake in the thousands column. Well, 7 minus 6 is 1, but look, this is an 8. 8 minus 6 would be a 2. So she must have forgot to subtract from 7. She must have subtracted from 8. So she made a mistake in the thousands place. She subtracted six from eight instead of seven. So that will be your answer. Now we're moving on to page 89. Okay, Number four on page 89. Which equation can help you estimate the difference of 63,412 and 31,500? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at these. If you were to round 63,412, where would you round this number to? I would say probably the thousands place would good, be a good place to start. So we're going to start off by rounding both of these to the thousands and see if we have an answer that matches that. So the three, we look next door at the four, which says stay the same. So this one would be 63,000. One, we look next door at the five. Five says go up. So that would be 32,000. So first of all, let's look at A. A only goes up to the thousands, but these both have numbers in the ten thousands. So we know it can't be A. B has 60,000, so maybe they rounded to the ten thousands place. But look at this one. This one only has up to the thousands, and again, we have a number in the ten thousands. So we know that this one cannot be correct. C, it looks like again they rounded to the ten thousands place, so if we run into the ten thousands place, then we would get sixty thousand. But over here, forty thousand. Thirty one thousand, the one does not tell the three to go up. The one would tell the three to stay the same. So that one can't be it. And then down here on D, sixty three thousand, which is what we got, minus thirty two thousand, which is also what we got. So it looks like D is our answer. Number five. Prince Edward Island in Canada is made up of three counties, kings, prince, and queens. There were 17,990 people in Kings County and 44,348 people in Prince County one year. The total number of people on Prince Edward Island that year was 140,204. How many people were in Queens County? Ooh, this is tricky. Okay, so we're talking about three counties here, kings, prince, and queens. We know that kings has this many, and we know that prince has that many, but we've got to find out how many are in Queens County. So I'm going to take this number because it's the total. So I'm going to write 140,204. First, I'm going to subtract Kings County. So that'll be 17,000. 990. 4 subtract 0 is 4. 0 subtract 9. I can't do that, so I'm going to regroup. 
10 subtract 9 is 1. 1 subtract 9, I can't do that, so I'm going to regroup 2. This becomes a 10, but that doesn't help me here, so it becomes a 9, 9, and 11. 11 subtract 9 is 2. 9 subtract 7 is 2. 3 subtract 1 is 2. And then it's like we have an invisible 0 here, and it's 1. Now I'm going to take this number, the 122,214, and I'm going to subtract the other number the people that are in Prince County. So it's 44,348. 4 subtract 8, I can't do that. So it becomes 14. 14 subtract 8 is 6. 0 subtract 4, I can't do that. So it becomes a 10. 10 subtract 4 is 6. 1 subtract 3. I can't do that. 11 subtract 3 is 8. 1 subtract 4. can't do that. So it becomes 11. 11 subtract 4 is 7. 1 subtract 4 again. I can't do that. So 11 subtract 4 again is 7. So this is the total left after I subtract for both um, King County and Prince County. So 77,866 is how many people are in Queen County. And we probably should put people in Queen County. Okay, number six now. On number six here, we've got four different problems. When you are solving problems like this, it's very important to make sure that you ignore the answer that's on the end. So I'm going to do that by just covering them up with a post-it note. You can do that with a piece of paper or you can even just get a separate piece of paper to solve your problems. I am actually going to solve some problems on this post-it note since I don't have very much room. So my first problem here, let me redo that. My first problem here is 8,902 minus 3,407. So 8,902 minus 3,407. 2 minus 7, I can't do that, so I have to go all the way over here to the 9. That becomes a 10, but I can't do that either, so it becomes a 9. 2 becomes 12. So 12 subtract 7 is 5. 9 subtract 0 is 9, 8 subtract 4 is 4, 8 subtract 3 is 5. So this answer is 5,495. Now I'm going to check. Does my answer match this answer? No. So this is false. Okay. Let me get another post-it note. Alright. Our next one here. 16,234 minus 5,235. 4 minus 5, I cannot do that. So this becomes a 2. 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. 2 subtract 3, I cannot do that. This becomes a 1. That becomes a 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. 1 subtract 2, I cannot do that, so this becomes a 5. This becomes 11. 11 subtract 2 is 9. 5 subtract 5 is 0. And 1 with our invisible 0 just comes down as 1. So 10,999. Let's check our answer. Is that what we got? No. So this is false. Okay, get another post-it note. All right, next one. 97,000 subtract 65,881. This one's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, 0 minus 1. Can't go here, can't go here. Have to go all the way to the thousands. It becomes a 6. 10, but it becomes a 9. 10 becomes a 9, and the 0 becomes a 10. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. 
9 minus 8 is 1, 6 minus 5 is 1, and 9 minus 6 is 3. So 31,119. Does it match? Yes, it does. So that one is true. Last one. All right. 420,508 minus 130,274. 8 minus 4 is 4. 0 minus 7, I can't do that, so this becomes a 4. This becomes a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 3, I can't do that, so it becomes a 12. 12 minus 3 is 9, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So your answer should be 290,234, and that answer is correct. Okay, and I'm going to set those aside. And our last page here. On this last page, I'd like for you to have your parents check that you completed these problems on page 90 correctly. And if you have any questions about them, please have your parents send me a message. That is it for this lesson.